Tonight, some much needed good news for the Arizona economy, a company whose computer chips are the brains in your Apple iPhone and the F-35 fighter jets that fly out of Luke Air Force Base will build a new manufacturing plant in Arizona, and it could bring thousands of jobs. Team 12's Bram Resnick explains why the Taiwanese company chose Arizona and what President Trump had to do with it. President Trump's been pressuring foreign companies to build here in the U.S. And if you're a semiconductor company, Arizona's Silicon Desert is a pretty good place to be. In your hand and in Arizona skies, the company that makes the brains for the iPhone and the F-35 fighter jet will soon be making computer chips here in Arizona. They're making everything smart. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing is expected to open a computer chip plant here by 2023. It will join Intel and a vast array of other chip makers that have made Arizona a semiconductor hub for decades. A little known fact is that uh, the semiconductor industry really started here in 1949, before Silicon Valley even existed. The big draw today, an experienced talent pool at companies like Intel and brand new engineering graduates from Arizona State University, the nation's largest engineering school. One of the great things about a firm like this, I think they're talking about 1,600 jobs. These are high paying, high quality jobs. The average compensation at Intel, $151,000 a year. With President Trump's America First policy and now the threat of coronavirus cutting off America's supply lines, foreign companies are under pressure to make their products in the USA. President Trump and uh, others have been indicating that we need to rely less on um, Asian countries. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.